So this is my method for learning uh, where all the notes are on the BC accordion, or at least all the ones that you'll need for playing 95% of Irish traditional music. Um, you can learn just these notes and be able to learn hundreds of tunes, and then there's the odd tune later on that you might want to learn some extra notes for, uh, but for most tunes this will cover you. So a lot of the time uh, when you start learning where the notes are on an instrument you might just learn one major scale, you might learn like the G major scale from G up to G. The reason I don't like to do it like that on this instrument is because there's not that much uh, traditional Irish music that fits within one octave like G to G in a major scale or D to D in a D major scale. Um, there might be a few and if you can think of any leave them in the comments below because those are always uh, handy to know. Um, but the majority of tunes that are really common for beginners to learn, a lot of them use maybe like an octave and a half, you know, a bit more. So it's good to learn the notes all the way up and down right from the start and then there's uh, a huge number of tunes you can learn. So what you need is like a common pattern that helps you learn it all the way up and down. So the notes we're going to learn first are the notes that are in the key of G major and the key of D major. So these are by far the most common notes um, for all of traditional Irish music. Um, and yeah, if you take the notes that are in both scales, um, then that's just six different notes. Um, it's A, B, D, E, F sharp, and G. So we're going to learn those all the way up and down with this pattern that makes it really clear where they are. So I'm on a 21 uh, key accordion, by the way. If you've got 23, count them if you're not sure, then you'll have two extra low notes at the bottom. Just ignore those for now. So everything I do starting on my first button, you're going to start on your second button. Just ignore those low notes. So we're going to start off with three pull notes, A, B, and D. And those three are next to each other on the pull on the C row, and they'll be repeated later on. So that's always a pattern. So A, B, D on the pull. And then if you go up to the next button up, so the fourth button, if you're on a 21 key like this, we're now going to get the other three notes in the scale, E, F sharp, and G. And they're arranged in a triangle like this. So E, F sharp, G. So a little triangle of notes. And again, those are always arranged like that up and down the keyboard. So that's a common recurring pattern as well. And that's it. Those are the only two patterns we need for this scale. So we've got three in a row on the pull. A, B, D. And three in a triangle on the push. E, F sharp, G. Um, all we need to really know is where to start each shape. So A, B, and D. And then we're moving up to the next button to start the push triangle. E, F sharp, G. Now that we're into the middle of the scale, it overlaps. So that same button we're finished on, E, F sharp, G. That's going to be the start of our next pull shape, A, B, D. So we had A, B, D down here. We've got A, B, D just the same up here. A, B, D. And then again it overlaps. So starting on that same button this time we're going to play E, F sharp, G. Again in that little triangle on the push, just the same as down here. E, F sharp, G, E, F sharp, G. So E, F sharp, G. And then at the top we're starting to play another three in a row, same as we had lower down. A, B, and then there isn't a D button, we don't go that high. But that's fine because B is the highest note that is common in uh, traditional Irish music. That's the highest note you're going to meet um, very much, really. I can think of like one or two tunes that have a high C in. So again, that's a note you could always learn later on, but we're not really going to need it much. So that scale all the way up from the bottom. A, B, D, move to the next button. E, F sharp, G, overlap, same button. A, B, D, overlap, same button. E, F sharp, G. And starting on the next button, so you can just use your top two fingers, A and B. Okay, so work on that until you can play it fluently all the way up. Um, just go for a slow, steady speed. And what you might find really helpful is if you try and do that naming the notes as you play them. A, B, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, D, E. G, A, B. Um, and that really helps, you know, internalize what the notes are. Um, and yeah, you start to really associate the button and the note with the name, uh, which is helpful whether you're going to read music or not, because uh, even if you're learning everything by ear, it's good to know the names of the notes you're playing, helps with communication uh, with other musicians and so on. Um, so once you're okay playing that up 
uh, from the bottom to the top, uh, try playing it back down the other way. Okay, and again naming the notes, so B, A, G, F sharp, E, D, B, A, G, F sharp, E, D, B, A. Okay, all the way up and down. So those six notes are by far the most common uh, in all traditional Irish music, and there's loads of tunes that just use those notes. So uh, some really common tunes for beginners to learn that just use those uh, would be The Bridge is Full of Stitches, uh, Peg Ryan's or Egan's Polka, um, The Blackthorn Stick, The Cash, Out on the Ocean, uh, Saddle the Pony, um, and uh, Lilting Banshee and Tempany Bit. Uh, so most of those tunes were in either uh, G or A minor. Uh, which are two of the most common keys. Um, and yeah, it's quite common for tunes in those keys to just not use the C. So the C is part of the G major scale or the A minor scale, but there's loads of tunes that just don't use it. Um, so with just those six notes, you can get off to a good start, learn quite a few tunes. Um, okay, and then we're going to put one more note in the scale uh, right in the middle uh, that will then let us play another, you know, few hundred tunes. So the only note we're going to add in is uh, C, and we're just going to add in this C. So there is a C down here, there is a C up here. We're not going to add those into the scale that we're learning for now, just because those are very rarely used, uh, whereas the one in the middle is used a lot. So the, all you're going to do to change what you're already doing is A, B, D, E, F sharp, G. On your way up this group of three pull notes, A, B, so the B button, is also C, so it's B on the pull, C on the push, so you play A, B, and then push for C, and then just go back to pulling for D, and you're as you were, so A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, and doing it all the way down as well, B, A, G, F sharp, E, D, C, B, A, G, F sharp, E, D, B, A. Okay, so practice it all the way up and down using just the six common notes, and putting that C in the middle, which makes it into more of like the, the real G major scale, uh, A minor scale. I mean, it's a slightly, it's an artificial scale because, you know, we're not really playing, uh, we're not playing the C's at the top and the bottom for starters, and we're, we're playing it for just the part of the scale that's useful to us rather than doing like one octave of a scale or two octaves of a scale. We're just starting at low A, which is the lowest common note, and ending at high B, which is the highest common note. So that's your second scale. Um, and that one's going to open up, uh, let's see, other tunes to you that are common for beginners to learn. All of the Bally Desmond Polkas, uh, Blarney Pilgrim, Dusty Windowsills, Jim Ward's Jig, Off to California, uh, Sally Gardens. Um, so all of those use just the notes covered there in that scale. Okay, and then we've got one more we're going to do, uh, which is to add in C sharp. Um, so this makes it into more of a proper D major scale. Um, and again, D major, really common key for Irish music. Uh, so this will let you play all of those tunes. Also, most tunes in E minor uh, or B minor use uh, the set of notes. So the note we're going to add in now is C sharp. Um, and we're going to add in two of them. We are going to add one low C sharp and the C sharp in the middle because both of those are fairly commonly used. Now the way I think of this is instead of the three in a line, we've now got kind of a square root sign. So A, B, C sharp out here, D. But that shape anyway, square root sign I think of it. Um, so A, B, C sharp, D. Okay, so your A, B, and D are still the same, A, B, D, but you've got C sharp in between the B and the D. A, B, C sharp, D, and then E, F sharp, G is the same, E, F sharp, G, and then again we've got A, B, C sharp, D, and E, F sharp, G, A, B, and again there is a C sharp up here, but I can't think of any tunes that use that note, so uh, I wouldn't bother with that for now, just A, B. So coming down that scale from the top, you've got B, A, G, F sharp, E, D, C sharp, B, A, G, F sharp, E, D, C sharp, B, A. Okay, um, and that's all the tunes you need for, all the notes you need for most D major tunes. Uh, so that will let you play John Ryan's Polka, Boys of Blue Hill, Connetman's Rambles, 
uh, Cork Hornpipe, uh, Drowsy Maggie, um, Made Behind the Bar, Mary Blacksmith, uh, Tripping Up the Stairs, Silver Spear, uh, Musical Priest, um, Wise Maid, um, and yeah, loads and loads more. Uh, so that's, yeah, that's my way of learning the geography of the where the notes are up and down the keyboard. Um, practice that a bit, see if it helps you. Um, but the, uh, yeah, the important thing to remember is uh, keep learning tunes as well. Don't think, oh, I'll spend some time just learning these scales going up and down. Get straight on with using them to learn tunes. Um, whether you're reading or doing it by ear, um, it doesn't really matter. Still just, you know, be learning tunes. Uh, use those scales. Um, try to be aware of what notes you're playing when you learn tunes. So even if you're learning something completely by ear, uh, you're not looking at sheet music, no one's telling you the name of the notes, still just think, oh, what note does this tune start on? What's this note I'm playing now? You know, try and be aware of how what you're playing relates uh, to the notes up and down, or even just noticing how it fits with the shapes. So there might be a part of a tune where you just think, um, oh, I've just used that push triangle up there. Um, or part of the push triangle and then come down the three in a row there's lots of places where yeah you'll just find it running up and down those shapes so good to be really familiar with them um, okay I hope that uh, helps you um, leave me a comment to let me know if it did or not um, and yeah if anyone can think of any tunes that are uh, only fit within one octave of a major scale like G up to G in a major scale or D up to D in a major scale uh, be interested to know about any of those, so uh, let me know in the comments. Thanks very much.